this Kansas City defensive line does have some big names, Frank Clark, Chris Jones, but they're not what Pittsburgh's defensive line and, and front seven is. This is this is an area that the Browns, in theory, can exploit. I completely agree, and I don't think we need to worry about <clears throat> Baker Mayfield playing out of character, holding out of the ball too long, allowing guys like Frank Clark and Chris Jones to get after him for a potential strip sack or anything like that. We really haven't seen him play that sporadic style since the first game in Pittsburgh. He's a completely different quarterback since then. Uh, there was the one uh, turnover uh, strip sack in New York, but that was a complete offensive line blown assignment. A guy just got beat inside, and that's not on Baker. So, again, using the Pittsburgh uh, game plan as a blueprint, I, I see Baker Mayfield staying relatively protected despite some you know decent names up front for the Chiefs. And then in the running game, this is a, a Chiefs run defense that ranks 31st in DVOA. They, they, they're favorable a little more in some other metrics, but they really don't rank any higher than 24th or 23rd. So they're going to have opportunities both to keep Baker Mayfield clean yet again and run the football. And Browns fans have seen all year that that's a recipe for success for this team. Explain what that metric is, DVOA, how important that is. Uh, you mentioned they rank near the bottom, you know, second last in the league. What, what does that measure and what does it tell you? Yeah, uh, DVOA is a metric provided by football outsiders that really takes in every uh, variable into a play that you could imagine, down in distance, um, players, situation, uh, offensive line, they take into account the running back and the yardage they gain. I, I mean, it's analytics to a T. And to me, I think it's one of the better metrics when surveying what is actually happening happening inside a play compared to just, oh, well, the Chiefs allow you know 120 rushing yards per game. There's things that dictate why those rushing yards may happen. You know, teams get up, teams get down, abandon the run, have a heavy game plan. DVOA gets rid of all the clutter and provides, I think, an accurate metric and a detailed one at that at what a true strength or weakness is of an opposing offense or defense. So basically it takes into account strengths, weaknesses, and, and what you should be able to do, and the Chiefs are ranking near the bottom. Of it. Now, the other thing is, is you know, we've heard from some of the Kansas City Chiefs beat reporters, they're banged up at linebacker, and they may have to yeah. play an extra safety in the box. I, I, I would imagine Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt would be smiling very, uh, very broadly if they see a, a safety in the box as opposed to a third linebacker. That's exactly it, Dave. And we're really painting a picture here as to why this minus 10 or plus 10 line, whatever side you want to look at it, makes no sense to me. I mean, I, we just laid out how Baker Mayfield's going to have a clean pocket. We talked about how the guys up front aren't going to have much resistance to the best offensive line in football. And now we're talking about the, the second level having to play beat up linebackers and an extra safety trying to stop the best one two punch in football and pr the best running back in football and Nick Chubb. The Browns are going to be able to operate the way they want to operate. They're going to be able to get what they want to get. They're going to be able to move the football and score points in this game. Uh, not just Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, but the middle of the field is going to be open for Jarvis Landry and Austin Hooper. The, the Chiefs have had problems against tight ends all year. Look to the Raiders game with Darren Waller. I understand Austin Hooper is not Darren Waller, but he still is a top 10 um, just athleticism, uh, football smarts, savvy tight end. He's a huge guy, you know, 6'5", 250 frame. They're going to have issues with him. They're going to have issues with Jarvis Landry. They're going to have problems stopping the run. And we've seen what happens when you give Kevin Stefanski what he wants. The Browns score points. They're going to be able to keep up with the Chiefs.